everyone. Thank you so much for sitting and watching. Um, today, my uh, topic will be uh, directed to people who want to have a residence permit or uh, people who want to be self-employed or have their own business in Sweden. Uh, the regulations and the terms and conditions is different from a work permit visa. So uh, I will be discussing now uh, uh, how to be applying for uh, self-employed or uh, owning your own business visa and why is Sweden considered the best uh, country comparing to the population, uh, best country for startup uh, uh, businesses. So the first uh, and foremost, you need to be having a valid passport that so for example if your passport is going to be expiring in 2021 and you want to be applying for the visa this is will not work out it's best thing for you is to be applying for a, a passport that will be valid for five years so this is uh, the first thing second thing uh, that you need to be uh, that you need to be proving that you have enough experience in the industry or the business that you want to be starting. So for example, if you want to be uh, uh, starting um, a medical company, you have to have the experience before either, either you had uh, the qualifications that can enable you to be starting a new business or you have worked in a, um, running your own business in your uh, 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 origin country. Uh, you have been um, managing or owning or directing um, uh, your own business before or you have been working in a company that has that is running the same business so you have enough experience to come and uh, to start your own company uh, in Sweden um, third thing that you have to uh, either uh, speak uh, very good if not fluent English or Swedish because some people uh, prefer to be studying Swedish before they start to come to Sweden so it's easier when they are running their own country uh, sorry when they are um, uh, running their own company so uh, you have to have uh, a certificate to prove that you speak uh, very good uh, English or Sweden so, or Swedish sometimes uh, if you could improve it they will ask you to be uh, um, having the IELTS uh, uh, English exam or the TOEFL so you could uh, prove that your proficiency in English language. You have also to be proving that you are going to be the person who is running the company and you are going to be owning at least 50% of this company. So for example, if someone is going to be investing uh, or you have shares in this company, you will have to prove that you will be uh, uh, owning 50% of these shares at least 50% even if you are going to be having other people to invest this is, won't be any problem as long as you can be uh, proven that you are uh, uh, owning 50% of these shares and you will be the person who will be running the company the company services or goods you, the company services or goods has to be either produced or and sold in Sweden so for example if you are going uh, go, um, to be manufacturing some furniture, uh, this has to be either produced in Sweden or sold in Sweden or produced and sold in Sweden. So you have to uh, prove that the, that the product you are going to be uh, uh, producing, that it is produced or sold and sold in Sweden. Also very important thing that this of course, uh, apply if it was a um, uh, te uh, technical company. So if you are going to be, it's a new technical solution, but this is also Sweden is going to be profiting from this project that you are going to be uh, launching it in the country. Okay, another very important thing is that you have to prove that you have enough uh, financial asset that can cover you and if you are going to come be coming with your partner and your children how much you need to have at least 200,000 krona which is equivalent almost 
more or less to 20,000 euros for the first two years for you. Then another 10,000 euros, 100,000 Swedish kroner for your partner and 50,000 for each child. So for example, you will be coming, you need to have 20,000 for yourself, another 10,000 for your partner, 30,000 euros. And if you have two children, each one uh, 5,000 euros, then you need to be proving that you have the amount in your bank that is equivalent to uh, 40,000 euros for the first two years. Uh, when also uh, concerning that you have to be proving this asset, as far as I know, if you have just deposited this money few uh, uh, weeks or months before you uh, uh, apply for the visa uh, or for the owning your own business uh, 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 permit visa, most of the time it is being rejected because they couldn't prove that this money was um, allocated just for you to be proving that you have uh, the financial asset to cover yourself. You have, if you, for example, liquidated this money through a real estate that you have uh, sold, you have to prove that this money is through a real estate that you have uh, sold, or you had shares from another company that you have sold, and that's why you are having this uh, amount of money. So if you, um, just ask your friends to be collecting this amount of money to put it in the bank and then to be proving that this money is yours that it will be covering you it will not work you have to prove how long uh, from where you brought the money or how long has this the money has been in the bank account this is also one of the trickiest thing when it comes to the um, financial statement how do they can uh, prove that this money is going to be there for some time and it's not there only uh, as a makeup account for you to have the, uh, the the permit and then this money is not going to be the, there anymore and you couldn't be sustaining yourself you need also to be uh, uh, presenting a very strong uh, business plan and a financial uh, documentation uh, about how you are going to be running and sustaining your business um, this i would suggest in this point that you have a professional person who is doing you a business a professional business plan because they take the business plan and they study it and if you don't have much experience in creating or structuring a business plan i would suggest that you have a professional person uh, structuring uh, uh, it for you and sometimes or most of the time they have you have an interview in your uh, uh, country where you have applied for the work uh, for the permit visa that you they go through the business plan that you have presented so you have to be very much um, aware and you have to be very much experienced in the field that you have presented the business uh, plan uh, uh, for the um, uh, embassy you have to be also uh, proven that you had network or you have been in contact with people in Sweden to prove that you are um, networking or you have uh, a potential market in the country. So for example, you couldn't um, oh, say, okay, I would be having, uh, I would be selling uh, heating systems uh, or units in Sweden. This is my business plan. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay, I have all the financial assets. I can be supporting myself and supporting my uh, my family and I want to be having a, a business permit, startup business permit uh, visa. When they come and say, okay, who is going to be your uh, target customer or who is your partner? Did you network with anyone? You say, no, I have everything, but I don't have any uh, network or I don't have any um, niche that uh, I know that I'll be uh, directing my uh, products too, then it will be hey though, they will never give you the visa. You have to have a previous network or communication uh, with people in Sweden or with companies or with uh, uh, partners in Sweden and you have to be proving um, that you have this network and I will tell you that uh, most of the time they call these partners or these companies or uh, this network of people of the numbers that you have provided to make sure that this is um, a, a, this is a credible information there's also another important thing that 
but maybe sometimes they come later if you want to be extending your visa uh, that you have to be proving that your uh, your startup company is going well and you want to be uh, applying for ex uh, extension for your visa uh, because you could prove you could prove that this your company um, is growing is going successful um, that you are uh, uh, putting impact positive impact uh, in the swedish market so um, this point sometimes they ask it from the beginning to do a business plan or a forecast forecast plan how will this business itself it's not about the assets you will have yourself but how will it's like a business forecast or contingency plan how will you be running this business for the first two years so you have to have the assets that you will be able to sustain yourself and your family and to have a um, another forecast plan how you are going to be running the, your business the first two years so this is um, the terms and conditions related to the visa why did sweden succeed in uh, uh, why sweden succeeded in attracting lots of people either internationally or locally to be investing in startup companies the first and foremost that sweden had adopted the method of creative destruction so what happens when you are having a market that is being monopolized with big companies then the new startup companies cannot start uh, uh, their new business so sweden had eased the regulations for the startup uh, companies the any big company that was monopolizing the um, the market they started to creatively destruct it or dismantle it so you can have new people entering the, 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 um, the market. So that's why they call it the creative destruction, that you are not going to be having any big public uh, monopoly uh, um, uh, uh, taking the full grip of the market. No, you are going to be having the space for creation and for startup companies. Of course, one of the most uh, uh, there are lots of course of um, uh, companies that was very successful uh, in Sweden but the, the ones that are of course internationally recognized is Spotify, Storytel, Truecaller these are all um, internationally uh, uh, recognized and known and there are lots of other companies but maybe it's not uh, very popular in different countries it could be very popular only in europe or in the um, united states uh, and canada sweden has excelled in promoting the formation of new businesses okay how did sweden do this uh, for one of the things that they have uh, been doing uh, uh, the last uh, couple of years uh, one of the things that Sweden has done, for example, is if you are employed in a company and you want to be starting your own company, but you still you don't know how the market will be. You want to test the, comp the, the market. You don't want to be uh, losing your uh, current job. And if you lose it and the company didn't work well, then uh, you, 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 you do not have any job. So they have uh, introduced the policies that if you are working in a company you can have six months unpaid leave and you could still keep your position so you can start uh, your own company for six months if things went well then you can resign if not then you can go back to the same position this is one of the things that they ensure that the companies uh, can encourage employees who want to be starting their own business that they don't have to be panicking between oh will i keep my nine to five job or start my own business so for any market to boom you need to have startup companies that can be generating taxes that is going to be uh, um, attracting more international partners so this is one of the things that they have adopted um, another thing um, stockholm produces the second highest number of billion dollar tech companies per capita and it's uh, when we are talking now we are talking about per capita 10 million we have 10 million people more or less living in sweden 
So you are having Sweden when you compare it per capita to the United States, it will be coming number one and the second after Silicon Valley. There is this interesting survey that was done for people between the age of um, 18 and 64 in the US and, uh, and Sweden. 65% of Swedes uh, said that they had a good opportunity where they lived to start their own business, comparing to 40% of Americans in their age between the 18 and the 64 who said that they had a good opportunity to be starting their own business. So Sweden has also excelled um, in making uh, people from, div from different age group feel confident and that they feel uh, uh, inspired to be starting their own business and their own uh, startup company. Another important thing that this startup uh, uh, companies has helped the, uh, the country to be grow the, to be achieving the growth rate of 4% 4, 4 in 2015 and 4% in 2016 and when you compare it to the neighbors companies uh, to the to the neighbor countries Sweden has excelled in the startup companies and boomed the economy by the startup companies in comparison to the other European uh, uh, countries um, so to recap this, we would say that people who want to come and invest in Sweden, uh, if they have a very good uh, structured business plan, if they are going to be uh, investing in their product, selling it uh, or building it in Sweden, they will be having a high opportunity to be living in the future in Sweden. If you have uh, especially tech, any technical uh, project that you want to start up, Sweden will be a very good uh, uh, place for uh, starting your own company. The most important thing from the beginning, if you are going to have your own company, is to have a very good accountant. You are paying your insurance, you are paying your pension, you are paying your taxes. If you have insured these three uh, aspects, taxes, insurance and pension, then you will be having a bright uh, future in Sweden. If you try in a way or another avoid paying some money here and some money there when you are applying for your uh, uh, permanent residence permit based on your uh, startup uh, company unfortunately you will never have this uh, permanent residence permit because lots of people who come and start in business here in Sweden they want to continue growing their business here and they want to be living in Sweden but unfortunately because they try to play with some or to be avoiding paying some money here and there when it comes to uh, the point or the time when they uh, want to be applying for their permanent residence permit they never get it and oh, I wouldn't say they never get it but it gets delayed so instead of having your uh, permanent residence permit after five years you could be starting to have your residence uh, permit after seven and eight years because of uh, some flows or some things that you have been avoiding uh, to pay from the start uh, or from the beginning when you moved to Sweden. So all the luck for people who want to start up their own uh, their new business. There are lots of um, uh, uh, information in the Swedish Migration Office related to uh, uh, registration your own company and starting your own company and how you can be meeting you can you could be uh, uh, offer you will be offered to be meeting uh, different people uh, to be discussing more uh, uh, how to start your own business um, there is another thing that I should have mentioned from the beginning if you are here if you are going to be uh, having a business or you are trying a business for only three months you do not need this startup uh, visa. You will need a different visa. If your business that you are going to start, uh, or you are in a business that would require more than three months, then you will need the startup uh, work uh, work visa. If it's something for a short period, three months, you, you do not need uh, this visa. And of course, this differs from people uh, coming for, from Europe or uh, from. Um, uh, uh, Middle East or from Africa or the States or Canada. Of course, every country has its own regulations when it comes to the uh, visas. So all the best 
and uh, for anyone who is thinking about uh, starting up a business here do the math right do the business uh, uh, the business plan right and i am sure you will be uh, happy starting your business in sweden thank you so much and hope to see you very soon in my next video i would be so glad to know which uh, topic you want me to be discussing in this next uh, video i think the next one i want to be doing is the studying in sweden so uh, if you like this video please give it a thumb up and share it with all your family and friends thank you so much hey though